Hey guys, Pete here, and a big, massive shout out to Wolverine1971. Thanks, dude. He asked the question, can you add spin tax support to HTML section? Now, me, being an idiot, read that wrong in my mind. I thought he's talking about in the in the HTML template. But obviously, he's not talking about the HTML template. He's talking about this section here, which is section 4 of the software here. And absolutely, yes, we can. And we've updated the software to version... 1.11 so you can now add spin text in this section i'll show you so i'll do a really basic tutorial on spin text so you use look i don't know what this character is called but it's a squiggly uh braces one so like one pipe two pipe three and then close. So what we have here is three words. Every time the software creates a new blog, it will use choose randomly either one, two, or three. And you can, it's really that simple. In the real world, if you want to mix up domains, so lay out your hyperlinks like this and now it's really easy to use the spin tag, so you put the open bracket there, pipe there, pipe there, and close it off. Now, if you put this in the software, that means every time the software creates a site, it will use one of those hyperlinks. Also, what's important here Notice that I've got domain.com, here I've got https www.domain.com and the last one is www.domain.com forward slash index.php. What I've done there is also mix up the URLs that are being pointed to, so the one domain isn't getting the same link every time. So in this example, we've got one domain with three different links and three different keyword phrases to target. Perfect way to do it. So there you go. New update version 1.11. Restart your software to get. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. And obviously it's perfect timing because we've updated our new blogger software which which we're releasing shortly with the same feature. So Wolverine971, thanks dude. Thanks for being an awesome beta tester.